We are getting ready to build the best bike in the world right now. This is the Look 795 Blade RS. Now, this is an aero road bike, but it only weighs about a kilo for frame and forks, and that puts it into the territory of super lightweight climbing bike, suitable for any kind of alpine terrain. But that isn't what makes it the best bike in the world. What does is one word, resolution. And what I mean by that it's something that the closer you zoom in on it, the better and sharper it gets. Imagine coming up to a big poster and the closer and closer you get, the more you start to see how all the pixels start to distort. This bike, the closer you get, the more you appreciate the level of finishing and details that have got into this bike. I mean, it is beautiful. Now, these are the sort of details that probably only your bike mechanic will ever see and probably really appreciate things like how well machined the disc brake mounts are, how perfect the BB386 Evo bottom bracket is, those sort of things. Now, but the rider will probably appreciate them in the long levity of the frame because the longer you ride this frame, the more you'll realize that your bearings on your bottom bracket are still running smooth and true years later because everything is so perfectly aligned. Things like the inside of the seat post slide so perfectly that when you come to adjust your seat post, it just works like you expect. The headset and your steering will always feel perfect because there is no paint over spray in here. These faces are beautifully finished. It's those sort of details that actually manifest and get better the longer you own something like this. I really can't wait to get stuck in with building this. Behind me, we have a set of brand spanking new fast forward riot wheels that we talked about in a previous video. And of course, we're fitting up the customer's existing Shimano Altegra DI2 group set that we're gonna to need to perfectly route through this frame. And we are looking for a perfectly finished, absolutely stealth install so the front of this bike looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get started. I'm We're done, and I think you'll agree, it looks absolutely stunning. Remember, this is an aero bike for aerodynamics, but we fitted this up with climbing wheels. And why not? Because the frame only comes in at about a kilo, frame and forks, which puts it into probably be beating most dedicated climbing bikes. Of course, we wrapped those fast forward riot wheels, 33 millimeter depth, remember, with a set of Pirelli P0s. This is gonna be fantastic for big hill climbing days, which of course to come with super fast and confident descents. That's what this bike is all about. The inside of this frame is like nothing you've ever seen. The finishing details, which are very, very labor intensive, 
to actually achieve really come across in this bike. Things that you'll never see as an owner, but as a bike mechanic, we see and appreciate. Things like how the brake mounts were finished was just perfect. This has to be the easiest I've ever found aligning a brake caliper. It just went together. The bottom bracket was so well machined that it almost just went in like butter. It was absolutely beautiful. The stem, I don't think is the best solution I've seen for an aero stem. We've still got another five millimeters of spaces to fit in there, that, hence the top cap is not completely level just yet, waiting for that part to arrive. But I don't think there's any sort of solution on the market that has really blown me away as being a fantastic solution, especially when you have to switch the brake lines over for UK handlebars or UK brake setup. But I think we've done a nice neat job of the cable route in there and just tying that all together and making it look as neat and as aero as we possibly can. We fitted those up with a pair of Dida aluminium handlebars. Again, confident handling. Carbon is great, but a good set of aluminium bars just feels strong and robust in your hands. The seat post, I have to say, is probably the best designed seat post I have ever come across. And it slides up and down like you would expect it to. That's because it's been so well finished on the inside, it's insane. Even the clamping mechanism up here just works beautifully. Switching in and out of a, of a saddle is so easy. So as a bike mechanic, would this be a bike that I own? Yes, absolutely. It's expensive, but for anyone that really appreciates a high levels of detail and finishing, this bike has to be the best I've ever worked on, ever experienced ever seen the, I'm just imagining the time in the factory it took to get the very, very small details finished to that level. And I think every time I looked at it, I would just smile and go, yeah, someone's put some love into this, as much love as I'm putting into it in its maintenance. And I think I'd appreciate that. It's a stunner.